Well, everyone, we got poo duties. I want to be able to basically spread all the poo out of our pens so I don't have to deal with it all winter long. I'm gonna have to, I got the truck ready to go tomorrow morning. I'm gonna pick up another poo spreader from the neighbor. But let's get to it. So I did pick up this uh, poo spreader, this Coon Knight. So I think it works nice. So I have the 8230. I brought back the 8530 I was using for tillage. Uh, so the plan is a 7R from a neighbor and another Coon Knight. And also I'm going to rent his Kubota kid steer. So mostly I'm going to use my 8R with the loader tractor. But if you know, my pins are a little tight. So I'm probably going to need a kid steer to make it nice and neat. And get that poo in the spreader. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the little Steiger. So it's going to be tillaging. Or it's going to be uh, chiseling right behind that. So that way that uh, poo gets spread into the ground right away. So I'm hoping the ground stays unthawed. And my poo pile stays unthawed for another day. I'm going to go to bed here quickly and hopefully get a good night's sleep so tomorrow I can sling the poo. So the goal today is get these giant piles of poo that just piled up in front of my access here. So I've been uh, basically scraping off all the poo and the pen and just been piling it over here. The problem is I probably should have put it in a different location. Oh, I got poo on my shoes. But I got poo on both of these uh, shoots or pins if you want to call them so I need to just clear them out my the goal is I want to clear them out today so they just don't become solid bricks of uh, cow feces so uh, I need to hopefully get another uh, manure spreader from a neighbor that's going to let me borrow it here quickly. So means I have my own nurse spreader. He said if he could borrow mine, I could go borrow his. And that way I can get old Timmy to run the poo spreader. And, uh, and then I can run it after filling and everything. And I'm hoping my wife will run the chisel. She doesn't want nothing to do with spreading poo. But I'm hoping she'll run the chisel behind it. It's still going to stink in that tractor cab, but at least she won't have to worry about getting uh, poo on her shoes. So I'm going to take the International here down and uh, pick up his spreader and tractor. He does have a nice uh, 7R we could use. And then I'm going to pick up his, uh, his Kubota kid steer. So I know I have an 8R, but if you saw, the, the pin's kind of tight and everything, so I don't think I can get a... Uh, that big uh, 8R around and get all the poo cleaned up. So thank goodness somebody cleared off the roads. Oh, well, they cleared off one side. That's kind of odd. They just clear off that side, leave this side nice and uh, snowy. I'm gonna have to call the road department. Jake, you're slacking. I haven't seen uh, Grant around his uh, farmyard lately so I've been hearing he's doing a big deal on a truck dealership something like that I don't know what but uh, he's oh, bump but uh, I haven't seen him around so don't know if he uh, is gonna end up selling that or what the deal is but I'm sure he's gonna keep his farm all right so I have the kid steer the 7r and the manure spreader all going down the road here so uh thanks to the neighbor so billy bob helped me out a ton gave me all these uh, equipment and i will sure pay, repay the favor whenever billy bob needs to spread his own poo around but uh we'll get this back to the farmyard quickly and get to uh, i guess uh making the snow brown yeah all right, I'm surprised this is pulling this this well with the snow. I'm surprised it isn't any more slippery. Get this uh, pulled in here and then uh, over to our poo pile. Uh oh, am 
I gonna make that? Ugh, that's tight. But just barely. Barely made that. Alright, we've got this uh, spreader off, so I'm gonna get these spreaders over here. Also, I need to go over and get, start working, put the loader back on the 8R, so which I need to take the rock box back off and then get the loader back on. Ooh, slippery, slippery, slippery. All right, we'll park this up. I probably got that a little bit too close. I wasn't really thinking there. I'm gonna need a lot of room to turn the loader around. All right, so we'll get this uh, front rock box off here. You know, where's the screws? There we go. Undo this. All right, so now we got the weight bracket back put on there. So I'm gonna get this and go put the loader on there quickly and hopefully load that uh, spreader up. All right, so we got the loader put on. So now we're gonna go over here. I hope I gave myself enough room. I didn't really think that out too much. It's gonna be kinda hard getting this around. Whoa, this bucket isn't even gonna help at all. Let's see if we can get the poo in there. All right, so that bucket worked all right. The, that loader tractor basically was useless but i think i'll use that for my uh, big pile of poo so i do have a poo bunker over here that is basically full of tons of that uh good stuff hot steamy stuff dump that in there so i'm sure glad this uh kid steer skid steer sorry has a cab because uh, it is 26 degrees out there and it's smoked spoke to snow here soon so that's why I'm kind of hoping I can get all this stuff out of the front entrance way and that way I don't have a big block of uh, barrier through my gate there we'll see if we can get all this spread or not I am not making hardly any of a dent in this giant uh, pile. Kind of odd because uh, bucket's actually kind of big on this uh, skid steer. But uh, if you can tell, I I kind of have a hard time seeing because uh, that, that uh, our spreader is taller than the kid steer or skid steer here. See, we're making a little bit of a hump in that uh, mer spreader right now. Gotta raise that bucket way up now. Don't know exactly how many tons this spreader holds. I'm not completely sure on that. We'll see how much. I'm not really seeing much of a di uh, much of a difference in this pile at all, but. Hopefully uh, I can get it all out of there because I'm kind of noticing my bucket is a little bit bigger than my uh, pin door there. That might not be good. Sure glad I got this uh, skid steer though because uh, that loader doesn't work hardly at all for this. Alright, so we got both of these spreaders filled up. We got the... 8230 filled up and my neighbors Billy Bob's uh, 7210R here filled up. Uh, Timmy showed up. He begged me to use the 7R so I don't get to drive that unfortunately but I let him drive it because he can get some uh, he could get pretty cranky at times when he doesn't get his way so I'll just let him have it so I don't have to hear it. So I'm going to get these to our field, so we're going to be spreading these on our corn stalks. Uh, the field basically on the other side of our farmyard over there, and we're just going to be spreading them, and then I'm hopefully get my wife to chisel right afterwards. 
Let's get these spreaders over there. All right, so we are spreading now. So this is our second load. We got a full load of Minerve back there. So we're spreading it. So this is a side spreader. If you could tell up there where Timmy's at, it might have a little bit of a gap between his uh, poo spread and uh, where I'm going, but it's kind of hard to see because uh, uh, all we're doing is spreading it in the snow. I'm, I'm really surprised this doesn't make like a uh, uh, a brown slushy of this field. That would be yummy, wouldn't it? So it's a little bit odd because we're spreading nice steamy poo into snow. I thought it would be kind of melting it and everything, but it's not. Uh, the birds look like they are eating it. They enjoy the poo. I got my wife running the Steiger back there, so she's running that. Uh, oh, Timmy. You can never trust what Timmy does here. Uh oh. Not sure what you're doing there, Timmy. Timmy's taking off up there, so we could about get just about one round. That's about it. So, up and down the field, and then, uh, we got to reload again. Is Timmy going at an angle? Oh my goodness. I mean, what is wrong with this person? He is definitely going at an angle. We're going straight up and down the... Ugh. Ugh, oh, you just can't find good help. Yep, Timmy is definitely going at an angle. I mean... Sometimes you just got to let him figure it out himself because if you go and try to tell him he's just going to get all angry at you and oh man, I got to find somebody else to help me out. We're not spreading in that field, Timmy. Oh goodness. There is no help in that person. I mean, he's going for it. He's fully committed to that field too. Wow. All right, so I'm going to go back here. Timmy, got to come over here and fill it up. So I'm going to go back over here to our pins, load this thing up again, and hopefully get Timmy's attention to get over here so we can fill it up. I mean, some things you just think are common sense. Common sense isn't so common anymore. I mean, wow. I mean, literally, you gotta fill up your uh, manure spreader by the pile of poo. All right, this should be the last dump we have to do in this spreader, or I think I have it about topped off. Uh, get one. We're still waiting for Timmy to get the clue back to come back here and fill up. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have a learning experience. Let's, uh... Wow, I think this pile filled up. Pretty sure I had this pile further down than that. But I got a plan. So, you know Timmy parked his truck over here. Let's see. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of, uh... A present in here for Timmy here. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we won't say anything to him. Okay, yeah, we just put a little bit of, uh, uh, a stink present in there for Timmy. And then maybe next time he won't be, uh, he'll be more focused on his work than his, uh, social media or whatever he's doing over there. We need to wait until he gets back, so uh, I look forward to the conversation after he finds that in his pretty old truck over there. So Timmy finally showed up, so <laughs> teaches him right. Maybe he'll figure it out next time. Surprise, uh, he probably needed to uh, check Snapchat himself or whatever he was doing. We'll get this his manure spreader filled up.
so we got that filled up so we got both manure spreaders so we'll head off again I gotta wait until Timmy uh, follows me because I can't trust him to do anything correctly so hopefully if I'm going straight down the field he can figure out how to do it too so and then he could just follow the leader I think he should be all right if he has to just do that all right, we'll get over there, get these back to the field, start spreading some more poo. All right, we're going along here. So uh, Timmy looks like he's doing all right. So he's following us all right. Uh-oh, what are we doing here? There we go. Looks like we had a little hard poo in our uh, spreader or something. Sometimes you hit a bad clump or something like that, and these spreaders, they will... Uh, basically kind of either shear the shear boat or uh, kind of stall out the tractor. That time it just looks like uh, just uh, kind of clogged the, the manure chute over there. So now Timmy's in ahead of us so this is going to be a little bit weird on how we turn around. My wife's still running up and down the field so Hopefully we can get this chiseled up. I hope to get all my corn ground chiseled, but uh, it's kind of wishful thinking. We're just uh, hoping that the weather still stays just about right because we're close to the ground freezing with a frost. Ooh, oh, don't want to spread on that uh, concrete there. I'm sure the town won't like it. I did have a neighbor come by and he wasn't uh, very uh, happy we were spreading so close to town and I told him I was just like this is farm ground this is allowed we are chiseling it right in but he was very upset he said he does not like smelling the poo so I was kind of surprised that uh, basically the city ended up letting me have a feedlot that close but uh it's a farm town, I guess, so they get, they're kind of used to it, but uh, they don't like smelling this type of stuff. But like I told them, I was just like, when you're around this every day, you don't even smell it. Don't believe me, talk to somebody that grew up on a feedlot. They uh, basically, after a while, you just don't even smell the cow poo, so it's not even really uh, comprehends, but... I guess uh, they don't like smelling the fresh stuff. That's why I told them I'm just spreading it into the, the hardened ground. So that's another good thing when you're spreading this stuff in the winter. It freezes right away and it kind of masks the scent. So you're not going to smell it as bad. We've got all three tractors running in the field here. So having a hard time even... Uh, making a dent in our feed pens so I don't know if this field if we're gonna run out of farmland to spread or not uh oh what, what are you doing over here Timmy uh oh Timmy I don't know what Timmy's doing right over there I'm just gonna follow Timmy around here what do you think Timmy's gonna do Timmy we already spread that I mean, I don't know. Well, we're just going to follow the leader. We'll just do what Timmy does from now on. All right, looks like Timmy ran out. Doesn't matter anyways. We, uh, we're just spreading over what we already spread.
All right, so we're spreading here. Timmy's actually working for once, and he's spreading over there. Uh, my wife is uh, chiseling behind. I, I ended up going to this side of the field, so uh, me and Timmy won't spread poo at each other. So uh, I don't know if he knows that I put some poo in the back of his uh, old Ford or not, but uh, he seems like he wants to uh, speckle the side of my tractor with poo. I don't know what's his issue is. I mean, I just put a little bit of some garden uh, fertilizer in there for him. I figured he'd like that. I mean, I'm just doing him a favor. Come on. We're going to spread this and uh, we'll probably just spread this one field just because I don't think I can clear out my pins completely. I'm going to have to go back and uh, start uh, chiseling all my ground. That's the more more important thing we could always spread the poo come spring I don't know why Timmy's going uh, against the grain there but he looks like he's now spreading uh, eh, where he already did I know it's kind of hard to tell where you spread and where you don't you would think it would just uh, make this thing all nice and brown so you could tell but for whatever reason it's not I'll have to, uh, I'll probably use, uh, that 7R today, and then, uh, end up, once I'm done with it, uh, I'll have to take it back to, uh, Billy Bob. I'm sure he doesn't want me just holding on to it like a bad neighbor would. Uh, Tim's, Timmy loves that 7R. I told him I'm not buying a 7R because this 8230 is still running strong, so it doesn't have that many mop hours on it so there's no use of wasting that money anyways I spent enough this uh, year on the new uh, harvester deer buying over there I bought this year with a whole bunch of other equipment this year so can't afford to buy another new tractor this year that's for sure uh, anyways I can always just rent Billy Bob's if I really need one we uh, kind of turn wide here and then uh, do a circle. And then we go back and uh, start heading up where we left off. Kind of an odd turn, but it, it works. Yeah, see, we go all the way around and then we come back. And I'll back the manure spreader up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably have to spread this and then uh, take over for my wife. I'm sure she doesn't want to chisel this whole field by herself. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.